If you want safe, fast and cheap FIFA coins, well check out the new reliable source, fifacoin.com. Check the link in the description and don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 5% off. Bit of YouTube, it's your boy Curtis7 here for episode number two of my Juventus career mode. Lads, episode number one yesterday went down a real treat. I want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have given me. I forgot to do a few things, which I'll rectify that right now. But I just want to say, fantastic episode yesterday. We had a Super Copper Champions. We beat Napoli. Went down well. We made some really good signings. But uh, it's not over yet for the signings. We're going to make some more signings today. We're going to have transfer deadline day. And we're going to have the first game of the year. Uh, City Art League as well. But now, lads, forgot to do a giveaway that was meant to be on yesterday's episode, but I'm going to do that right now. It was for the Curtis 7 hoodie. I said to you guys, follow me on Twitter. Use the hashtag 7army. I'm going to pick one person out at random, but I got my girlfriend to do that. So I told her to pick one person at random, and she did. And this person up here won. She picked Gris RKO. My friend, you are the winner of a Curtis 7 hoodie. I'm going to follow you on Twitter. I'm going to DM you for your details so I can send a Curtis 7 hoodie coming your way. But also, lads, what I forgot to do was show you guys who we have in the Champions League group as well. My bad. I totally forgot about that. So let's go check that out right now. So here is our group for the Champions League. Yes, we're in the Champions League, and it's not an easy group at all. We've got Bayern Munich, Galatasaray, and Lille, the French outfit. So, lads, this is a group we should be getting out of, but some tough opponents, especially Bayern Munich and Galatasaray. All right, lads, so after yesterday's episode, I said to you guys, which players should we be signing for this crew mode? And a lot of you guys responded back saying this guy, uh, Neto, Numberto Neto from Florence. He's already signed for Juventus in real life. We need a backup goalkeeper. He looks to be that guy from real life. So we're going to go and put in an offer. He's got 11 months remaining on his contract. Let's give him uh, four. Let's give him three and a half million to Florentina and see what they have to say about that. So we're going to transfer offer here from Liverpool for Martin Caceres. Now, if you remember last episode, we put Caceres up in a deal to get Robin Van Persie. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here because I really want the money for Caceres. I don't really want him to go that badly, but the money's nice. He is injury prone. Um, I really want Robin Van Persie too, but if that deal does fail, I really want the money. So lads, I'm going to counter offer this deal for Caceres to Liverpool for 10 million. If they give me 10 million, they can have Martin Caceres. All right, Liverpool will come back and said they're not going to spend the 10 million. They want to spend 9 million maximum. So I'm just going to go stall this one for a few days and let's see if we can hear back from United first. So it turns out that Florentina is about to accept a deal 8 million to Atletico Bilbao for Neto. That is, I don't want to be spending that kind of money for a backup goalkeeper, but I am going to offer his value six and a half million. If they accept the deal, which I doubt they will, uh, I'll be happy to spend that kind of money, but really, I don't even want to be spending six and a half million. Definitely not anything above that. All right, we're going to offer for Pepe, 30 year old winger that we're not really going to use. Two and a half million. Give us that. And you can have him. So some bad news. There we go. Noberto Neto has signed for Atletico Bilbao instead of us. Um, I didn't want to spend that kind of money on that backup goalkeeper. So that's a shame. We still got to look for another one now. And there we go, lads. We have sold Simeone Pepe for two and a half million pounds. So there we go, lads. The deal has been accepted by Manchester United for Robin Van Persie. 13 million plus Casaras. Uh, it's a little bit more than what I wanted to spend, but you can't deny Robin Van Persie is quality. Him and Tevez up front, you know, or even him and Morata, left footed quality. That is what we need in the squad. Let's go and submit this offer. Hopefully he accepts. Right, so I've been looking at the transfer market for backup players. Now, there's been a lot with a lot of high potential, but they, there's a lot of players that are just worth too much. Players that we simply just can't afford. And I've been looking at Fabian Delph. We've just scouted him. And look at those stats. Agility. 89 89 stamina 
Now, lads, his value is 4.8 million. But if we go to make an offer to Aston Villa here, look, 7.4 million to 9 million, we can land. Fabian Dell. So I'm going to put in a cheeky offer for 6 million and see what Aston Villa have to say about that. And there we go, lads. Robin Van Persie is now a Juventus player. Accept the deal. Get in, Robin Van Persie. So Villa have come back, they rejected the deal. They said they want nine and a half million for Fabian Dow. That's just money we don't have at the minute. So I'm going to put uh, Paduan uh, up for trade plus seven million to land Fabian Dow. Paduan, if we take a look at his stats, he's only 73 overall. He's 30 years of age. We're not really going to be using him on this career mode. Hopefully, this deal can go through. So there we go. Aston Villa have accepted Paduan plus seven million for Fabian Dow. Oh, what a signing he could be for us. Fabian Delph has accepted the deal. Welcome to Juventus, son. All right, lads, so just a few days out from the first game of the season, and I'm taking a look at my first squad, and I reckon that is top notch. That is top draw. Absolutely buzzing with this team. Now, I want to quickly take a look at my reserve squad. Now, as we take a look, it's pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. The only problem I have with this team is the left back position. We've still got Patrice Evra in there. We need a backup left back. If we can secure a proper left back backup for Evra and a backup goalkeeper, then I would say that this transfer window has been sapoib for us. Right, so I'm just going to go in with 4 million to Milan to Len De Chilier. Get him that left back for us. Back up forever. Come on, son. Now, I'm really gutted that we didn't sign Neto, but we do need a backup goalkeeper for Buffon. Now, Simeone Scafe, I actually signed him in the last career mode I did with Man United, but I never played him at all. Played De Gea because I really wanted De Gea to grow. But if I was to sign Scafe in this career mode from Udinese, he would definitely get a lot of games in. So I'm going to go in with an offer of 4 million and hopefully Udinese let him have us. All right, so some good news and some bad news. Bad news, Udinese want 5.5 million for Scafe. And Milan have accepted the deal for De Chilio, So let's go ahead. 40,000 a week. Uh, thank you very much. We'll take that. And squad rotational player. Yeah, you can be that too. De Chilio, come on, son. You know you want to. All right, I'm just going to give a little bit more to Udinese. Hopefully, this can get the deal done. And there we go. Mattia De Schiglio has accepted the offer. Welcome to Juventus, son. Udinese have accepted the offer for Simeone Scafe. Welcome to Juventus, son. Right, so just before we get going, I want to quickly show you guys the squad numbers for the new players. Aurea is number two. Uh, who else we got here? Robert Van Persie is number 20. Fabian Delph is 18. Uh, as we go down here, who else is in? Dabila gave him number seven. Kadira gave him 16. Who else is new as we go down here? Deskiglio uh, gave him 13. Scafe gave him number 12. So the first game of the season is finally here. We're away to Shivo Verona in the City A. Ah. So here we go for the first game of the season, lads. As you can see the formation there, it's the same one we used last game, the uh, 4 3 1 2. And up top, lads, we've got Tevez and Robin Van Persie. Robin playing on the uh, right hand side there. Now, we've got Pogba just behind the strikers because a lot of you guys in the last episode said to me, swap Pogba with Vidal. Pogba, he's going to be much more effective. So, I'm going to test that out today. So, Vidal goes back into the midfield with Pirlo and Marquisio. Now, at the back, lads, we've got Evra, Chiellini, Bazagli, and Uriah at right back. And, of course, in goal, we've got Buffon. Now, on the subs, lads, we've got Dabaila, Morata, Kedira, Asamoah, We've got Pereira, Fabian Delph, and we've also got Bernucci. Bernucci. <laughs> Here we go for the first game of the season. Robin Van Persie in a Juventus kit. Oh, mate, I am excited. If you're excited too, please smash that thumbs button up. It'll be muchly appreciated. Here we go. First game of the season. Forza Juve. <laughs> I'm going to get used to that. That just sounds so weird. All right, gives it off to Pogba. Pogba, he's got some room. Tell you what, you can play in Pilo. Pilo goes for the chip. And no, no, no. I'm going to cut that out. Get it? 
Nice, here we go, Tevez. I tell you what, making a lovely run is Marquisio. Marquisio, get it back, go on, Sweaty. Had to, Robert Van Persie, first goal. I shouldn't have gone Sweaty, but I had to. Had to get Robert Van Persie, his first goal of the career mode. Get in, Robin. I'm going to say, what a lovely ball, but what a lovely taken pass from Marquisio. Underrated player Marquisio is, and he's going to do great things, and I hope Robin Van Persie is too. All right, lads, don't concede now. We just scored. Don't concede now. All right, come on. Oh, well done, Uriah. Well done, son. That's how you defend. All right, Uriah sees Vidal. Give it to Vidal. He's open. A two over Vidal. Hate that. Oh, what a block. Pirlo to Marquisio. Tell you what, Tevez made a run. He's got some space. He's got a few to beat here. Tevez, can he cross it in to Robin Van Persie? Can he get his head on that? Van Persie, so close. Oh, almost went 2-0 up there. Tell you what, that Tevez Van Persie partnership seems to be blooming. Terrible pass. I'll tell you what, we've got it. Pogba, Pogba, give it to Robin Van Persie. Robin Van Persie, can you get it back on your left foot? Robin Van Persie! Oh, so close! All right, Pilo on the ball. He's got time and space, and it's just flooded that box. Look at all the yellow shirts in there. Pilo, Pilo, can he hit it? Pilo! Oh, what's that say from the keeper, Tevez? No! We've won a corner. In fact, it's half-time, lads. Definitely on top of this game. We're just going to get more goals in the back of the net. Tevez on the ball to Pirlo. i tell you what, Vidal's got some room. Uri is making a lovely run. Oh, that was for Uri and not Robin Van Persie. Can he get there? Tevez! Oh, that was so close. That was intended for Uri, though, not Robin Van Persie. Come on, lads. No, don't concede like this. Buffon, what a save. Uri, get it out, lads. Get it out. Oof. Tell you what, we got away with that one. All right, making some subs. Bringing on Morata, Kadira, and Debyla. All three of them triple substitutions. Why don't Robin Van Persie, great debut, gets a goal. He looks to be a good signing for us. Gives the ball to Vidal. Look at Aurier. He's bombing forward. Aurier, lovely stuff, son. Who's in there? Triple taps it. Anybody in there? No. That was a half a chance. Oh, here we go. Look at this counter-attack, Vidal. Vidal, can you go over the top, son? To Pogba. Pogba, can you get that? Pogba, let's it go. Pogba lays it off to De Bailer. De Bailer with his opposite foot. Oh, Paolo De Bailer. What's that goal, son? Paolo De Bailer scores his debut goal for Juventus. Kept in, son. Two goals, two debut goals kept in. And you think now, lads, that should shore up the three points. The first game in the city are for us. There we go, lads. The full-time whistle has gone. We've picked up the first three points in this career mode in City A in a comfortable victory. As we can see there, Pogba, man of the match. And I guess that's down to you guys telling me to put him in cam. Lads, you guys are geniuses. And to be fair, he had a really, really good game in camp. Thought he played very well. All right, lads, so here we go. Transfer deadline day. 10 hours to go. And let me show you our budget very quickly. So as you can see, lads, we've only got 1.2 million to spend with a wage of 25,000. Lads, we've pretty much done all our business. And I'm happy with the business that we've done. Unfortunately, we're not really going to be involved in this transfer deadline day. So let's see what happens. So there we go, lads. Transfer deadline day has ended. And unfortunately, this season, it was sad not to be involved so as we check out the league table here as you guys can see we've only played the one game but we are in third spot so you can't be disappointed about that uh lads that's gonna be it for this episode it was a massive episode a lot of transfers to get through had the start of the city out and transfer deadline day next episode is gonna go back to normal three games per episode but anyways lads like always please drop the thumbs up button if you like this episode and please make sure you follow me on all social media accounts which you guys can find in the link in the descriptions facebook twitter instagram they're all down there don't worry about that but anyways that's until next time i've been your boy curtis seven take care and peace pro evolution 2015 as well it's just getting unbelievable mad review scores it's got a 9.0 out of 10 and that's very very high pro evolution 2015 the pitch is ours that's their slogan for the uh, 2015 game so